Hey everybody, it's Andrew Martin coming to you from uh, rainy and cold Seattle. Um, I am here in the comfort of my cozy apartment and I'm happy to be here where it's warm and dry. Uh, I got home from my job and sat down at my desk to record this message and I thought, you know what? I think I'm going to go sit in my bed and record this message from my bed. <laughs> that sounds like a much more comfortable and enjoyable way to do it. So here I am coming to you from my bed. Um, and I was originally going to do this message as a Monday Minute, but um, the more I thought about it, you know, this message has been kind of rolling around in my head for a couple of days, as they tend to do. And the more I thought about it, the more I thought, you know, I think this one's going to be a little bit longer than just a minute or two. So um, let's call this one a midweek message. How about that? Um, and the idea or the, the topic that I wanted to talk about today is this idea of spiritual correctness. Specifically, this idea that there is a wrong way or a right way to go about a spiritual journey um, or uh, embark upon a spiritual path. And um, the way that I view this um, is that there really is no such thing as spiritual correctness. You know, I think we are all unique individuals that bring our own special flavor to the party. You know, it's almost we like we have our own uh, spiritual fingerprint, so to speak. You know, we all have our own frequency that we vibrate at. Um, of course, it all, you know, contributes to the collective vibration, but we all have our own set of skills and gifts and abilities that we bring to the table that are wholly unique to who we are and our experience and our choices um, and the things that we go through in our, in our lives are what make us unique and what contributes to the beauty um, and the, the, the uh, magic of this whole spiritual experience that we're all going through together. So, you know, I think that really, ultimately, what it comes down to is, you know, what is it that excites you? What is it that gets you up and moving? What is it that feels more like play and less like work? What is it that gets you excited and makes you have goosebumps and makes you laugh and makes you, you know, feel like a little kid? You know, I think for some of us, it's, you know, uh, getting out into nature and taking a walk through the woods or on the beach. You know, for some of us, it's going for a run and clearing our head or practicing yoga or going to the gym. You know, for some of us, it's, you know, cooking a meal for ourselves or for our loved ones that we can share our love for food and our talent for cooking delicious dinners. I mean, that to me is an amazing beautiful thing. You know, for some of us, it's meditation or reading spiritual literature or seeking out spiritual knowledge. For some of us, it's, you know, as simple as just putting on your favorite song and having a Sunday morning dance party in your apartment. You know, I think it's really anything that gets you going and gets you excited. To me, that's the definition of divine, right? Is that which elevates us, that which ex inspires and excites us and makes us feel light and free and, and you know, uh, magnificent. I mean, to me, those are the things that we should be doing. Um, and that, to me, is what constitutes a spiritual experience. You know, I think that we are all born with that divine spark within us. We are all God incarnate. And the reason that we were created is because God or the creator or source, whatever you want to call it, wanted to know what is it like to have the experience of Andrew Martin? What is it like to have the experience of you? What is it like to to experience the world through the the actions and the life of one individual person because let's face it you're the only one of you that has ever existed and ever will exist you're the only one so whatever it is that excites you and makes you feel inspired and makes you feel alive that's what you should be doing i don't think you have to do things in a certain way or that you have to eat certain foods or that you have to follow a certain practice or do things a certain way or say certain words or whatever i don't think Think that there's only one way to do it. I think it's ultimately what inspires you and what excites you and what makes you feel alive. That's what you should be doing. You know, I think that we have that source connection within us and there's nothing that we can ever do that will break that connection. You know, of course there's going to be an ebb and a flow. You know, personally speaking, I've gone through periods of my life where I didn't meditate at all. I didn't read any spiritual knowledge. You know, anyone from the outside looking in could have easily looked at me and have said, you know, that guy's not on a spiritual journey at all. But I think that by judging another one's path, we really are only letting the ego step forward. And it's almost like the ego pretend, it's like the ego, a journey of the ego 
masquerading as a journey of the spirit. And I think that, you know, when we judge another one's choices and judge another one's spiritual journey, we're really just creating more of this illusion of separation and this illusion that we are somehow apart from one another. And come on, let's face it, it's 2014. This year is all about coming together and doing what it is that makes you feel alive and makes you feel the most connected to who you are and to your source connection. So I think, you know, if anybody tells you that there's a right way and a wrong way to do something, I just don't resonate with that. You know, I don't think there is such a thing as spiritual correctness. I think what's spiritually correct for one person is what makes them feel amazingly, wonderfully, holy, and divinely alive. So think on whatever it is that makes you just jump for joy. You know, for myself, it's meditating, it's reading spiritual literature, it's seeking out spiritual knowledge in many different ways. It is bringing these messages to people in the hopes that I can begin to help people who create their own spiritual path and clear their own path to their internal spiritual space. And that's what excites me. And I would never tell anybody that they had to do things my way because... I like the way that I do things, and I want to know what excites you. I want to see you do the things that inspire you. So do that. Whatever it is that gets you up and moving, you know, it's that old um, sort of cliched phrase of, you know, if money was no object, what would you do? But I think that's really true. There's a lot of value in that question. Really, what is it that if you weren't getting paid or if money was no object, what would you do? You know, I worked my nine to five job today and I did my my duty, I did my diligence, but in the back of my head all day long was the idea of, you know, recording this message and getting home tonight. And I couldn't wait to come home and record this message. And I will tell you, I am a creature of habit. I love to come home. I like to, you know, take off my shoes, hang up my coat and lay down and take a nap. And I haven't even taken my nap yet. So if that doesn't tell you how excited I was to record this message for you, I don't know what is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish this up, I'm going to edit it, and then I'm going to go into my living room, and I'm going to eat my cheeseburger and french fries, and I'm going to watch reruns of Seinfeld. And to many people, that would seem like the furthest thing from a spiritual experience as you can get, but you know what? It makes me happy. It fills me with joy. Do I want to eat a hamburger, a cheeseburger, and french fries every day? No. Do I want to watch reruns of Seinfeld every day? Eh, maybe. I do love that show. I think it's pretty funny, and I mean, you know, laughter I think always elevates our spirit but really my point is this do what you do do what you feel inspires you and makes you feel alive and the most vibrant and let your light shine as brightly as it can because really that's what the world needs right now it needs all of us to uncover all the stuff get rid of all the bullshit get rid of all the trappings and the ideas of how we think we should be doing something and do what just makes your light shine done <laughs> So as always, thank you for watching. I totally appreciate it. If you want to have a conversation on this topic, I would welcome you to go to my website. You can go to the contact me page, send me an email, or go to my Facebook page and send me a message. I would love to spark a uh, spiritual discussion with you, or even to find out what is exciting to you, what inspires you, what makes you feel alive. Because you never know, by sharing our stories and sharing the things that excite us and light us up, we might just inspire somebody else to do the same. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy the rest of your week. I'll talk to you soon.